Yes. Yes, Siri. Slash Cortana. Slash something. Active transport located. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's have a gander at it. Why not? Let's have a gander. That, that's... Phase on mines. <laughs> we'll get to that when we get to that. I'm not going to talk about that just yet. I want to save the suspense for later. It's, um... The phase on mines is something else. I'll just... I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and I imagine at least one or two people in the audience are actually anticipating seeing this. And don't worry, the... This place is interesting, but it's incredibly boring. So... You don't have to worry too much. There's not even anything really fun to get here. Like, no... Aqua related power ups or aquatic based power ups, I guess. This is not Prime 2, where then you'd have to fight a fucking boss after that, and you, can, you can't save an pr hour prior to that. Mm. I'm sorry, I've just been playing Prime 2 recently, and I had to fight the Alpha Blog, and god damn it, the Alpha Blog is so. The hell's that? What the hell are you? Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I forgot. There's another one of those rooms where you can activate a certain amount of um, power switches. Power switches? So that effect. I wouldn't mind so much, but if you just mess up yourself once, it's going to cost you a lot in terms of progress. Um, oh, wait, I see it. There's one up there. Okay, okay. I can believe you got there is this is another one of those rooms where you gotta look around. Aha. Uh -huh. So I have a completely unrelated question, and this is just kind of like out to anyone who might be watching this and who also watches Nintendo Capri Sun. So for any of you who who don't know who Nintendo Capri Sun is, he's a long time let's player on YouTube who has been doing a whole bunch of uh, Nintendo games like pretty much his entire career. He's got a pretty good hefty band base. He's like one of the, one of the ancient ones, as I like to say. He's been around for a long time. So I have a question for anyone who's subscribed to him. Um, why is it taking him over forty parts to finish Metroid Prime Three? Because Prime Three is arguably the easiest in the series, and it's actually pretty short, depending on how you play it. It's taking him over forty parts to even get to the end. Like, I think it's on part 47 right now, and he just finished the game. I'm like, how do you do that? Prime 3 is so easy. God. Oh, I would almost... Okay. <sighs> okay, Bob, backpedal, backpedal. I gotta explain something. Prime... I fucking love Prime 3. Almost as much as Prime 1. Prime 1 is, like, an extremely well-crafted classic game, and Prime 3 is... It's not as atmospheric as Talon 4, granted, but it is very action-based, it's very fun, and the story's super elaborate, and it all comes together extremely well. It's not like one of those series, like, oh, hi, like, um, between Alien 1 and Alien 3. You had the first Amazing 2, two movies, and then you have the what-the-fuck-is-this uh, ending. Wow, it's actually... Oh, you can get hit by that while it's doing it. Hmm. So my point is... How, um, Prime 3 is really easy, and I would almost be willing to let's play Prime 2 just so I can play Prime 3, because I love Prime 3 that much, and it's really fucking cool. But I wouldn't want to do Prime 3 without doing Prime 2, but Prime 2 is an extremely bullshit game most of the time. <sighs> Prime 2 is a very odd game, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I know this is kind of going on more of a ramble, and rambles are more Brandon's forte and not mine. I'm usually pretty cut and dry. But... Uh, Prime 2, it's it's interesting because it expands on ideas from Prime 1, but the environments are not nearly as interesting. That's the thing. Is that... There's something underwater. Why are you underwater? Why the fuck are you underwater? You're a new scan. I missed you before. I did not know you were a new scan. I am so glad I had the foresight, foresight to... Hey, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Ghost buzz your ass. Terrible ratings. You will co you will owe Sony seventy million dollars for this one. Really costing was Sony seventy million dollars. Holy crap! <laughs> Their break even mark was two hundred million. They've only made one hundred thirty million. That's that's the joke. Mm. That was one hell of a joke. Is joke? What 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 what? what? Cordite. Yes. 
<laughs> that was a guess. I'm so used to everything being a fucking power bomb door these days. I'm just like, uh, I will take your. I will call your bluff. I will definitely call your bluff in that one. I'm still missing one. Eeny, meeny, miny. There we go. This is my usual playstyle. I go scanning everything. Or being super overly observant of everything. And I'll be like, okay, time to move on now. Ah, uh, goddammit. Actually, I we are definitely close to the end of this by now. I think around an hour, 20 minutes. Or, like, once I get to that phase on mine's door, I will take a quick break. And just get something to... Soothe my aching throat because it's close to one in the morning. Ooh, yeah, you have you have low agility, but you have slightly higher hit points. You how did you dodge that? Okay, but I could be lazy and do this. Does he go again? Lower agility, and all it takes is one fucking. Oh my god, these things are new. These things are new Metroids. It's beautiful. You know, speaking of that, <laughs> oh man, we're going on, oh hi. Well, I guess I need something to talk about when, while I'm in here, right? And since my head hurts, it's late at night, I need to go get another drink so I can continue. Let's go on another quick spiel, why not? So, I was recently looking into the plot synopsis for for Metroid Other M, because I was browsing the Metroid wiki, and I saw something called an unfreezable Metroid. I'm like, unfreezable Metroid? Oh boy, what a concept, let's go have a look. So I did, and it, so I read this, because I have not touched or seen anything in Metro Other M because I don't fucking care, and <laughs> these are the same cock weasels who are like, nope, Met Metro Prime is no longer canon, I'm like, go fuck yourself with an iron rod, my, my exact reaction basically, like, as soon as I said Prime's not canon, I'm like, N fuck you, no, anyway, so apparently in that game, which is basically a carbon copy of Fusion. I'm not even kidding. I looked at the fucking setup of that game. Basically, it's just Fusion, but given a new coat of skin. This might hurt a bit. Why not? Oh, yeah, by the way, these things are actually... Are they fans on packs? Doesn't say. Doesn't... S hmm... His protective response keeps most creatures of feet. I am having a hard time believing you're not made of Phazon. I'm having a very hard time. Anyway. Yeah, so apparently the, the Federation's big secret project for that was we're going to make an unfreezable Metroid or we're going to breed one. And once it is created, it will be indestructible. I'm like, is this why you made Prime non-canon? Because Metroid is actually really easy to kill in Metroid Prime. Oh, hi. There's, I think there's an energy tank up there. So, is this why you dick weasels fucking made Metroid Prime non-canon? Because you, you wanted to validate your idea of having an unkillable Metroid? Because Metroids in this game can be killed with one super missile without having to freeze them. I mean, freezing is still effective, granted, because it's cost saving. But, is that the only reason why you fuckers made Metroid Prime non-canon? Because you can actually kill Metroids relatively easily. It makes them not that big of a threat because you don't have access to an easily obtainable the fucking beam. Is that it? Right. <laughs> no, 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 it's cool. It, it's cool. No, no, go no, go fuck yourselves. No, it's cool. Uh, I hold a lot of anim animosity for Team Ninja for pulling that shit. I can never remember if it's Team Ninja or Ninja Theory. Ninja Theory made DMC DMC, and that's a pretty good game by itself. I hold by that, damn it. I'm a pretty big... <gasps> Dumb McCry fan. I like, I like both franchises. But meanwhile, the other person was like, Yeah, Metroid... Metroid Prime can go fuck itself. Why not? It's... Yeah, fuck you. And the fans are like, Yeah, you're gonna have the score. Uh, so that's my spiel of the night. So... Is that... Yeah, I, I'm relatively convinced that's the one reason why you assholes made Metroid Prime not canon. So, it's so you can validate... Having this really bullshit stuff that's basically a one to one carbon copy of Metroid Prime. Good luck! I hope you have fun with your game sales, because your wallets will not. So I've been on that long enough. I don't go on tangents often. I'm not usually a negative person at all. 
but I have to validate some things sometimes. Oh. Hello. Do you guys hear that? Intense radiation detected. Hello. What have we just stumbled upon? So. Phase on mines. Transport. Can you guys guess where this is going? We're about to basically go into the bowels of hell. Like, I'm not really kidding about that. We're basically about to go into bouts of hell. For further proof of why you should not go messing with Phazon, let this be all the reason you need. There's a lot of an energy sink and a half for like not even five seconds of that. So, that's why you should not go jumping around the Phazon and why you should not be experimenting on it. So, we're here. We're now here, huh? Why are you doing this? Oh boy. It's not that I don't like the phase on mines. It's just. It's an investment. It is a heavy investment. And not an investment I'm willing to make without some sort of glass of milk or something to soothe my throat. So, I'll be back in a moment, guys. I'm going to go get a cup of something. Not alcohol. Not yet. And I'm going to be back, and we're going to tackle the phase on mines. So I guess this is a cut point for this episode or something. Eh. Be back in a sec. Whew. Alright, I'm back from my break. Um, I just downed a pretty solid glass of milk. And I'm about to go take on the phase on mines. So just as a... Um... A little forewarning. I'm not going to do the entire phase on mines tonight. I'm going to have another cutoff point like... Um... Around a halfway point, I want to say. Something around a halfway point. I'm not going to do the entire thing tonight because I have to wake up in the morning to go get my computer. Hell the fuck yes. And, um... The phase on mines is really long. Like, really long. Like, it is profusely lengthy. I like how that phase on doesn't appear on my radi on my um, danger meter. It's actually kind of interesting. Um, it actually can tell the difference. Or it's like, it, it shows as actually a background object and not like something in the foreground. By the way, can I just point out, phase on looks fucking creepy and incredibly cool because of you know like these little blue purple orbs that spew out from it and the uh, fucking electrical stuff coming out of it and you know you can hear that radiation isn't phase on fucking cool and it's also horrifying because it's extremely mutagenic so yeah that's why phase on's always been really cool for me do i have any index it index scans on um Phase on. I think I might. Ah, oh, apparently I'm missing some index scans. Like, come on. I should have something. Also, I don't really like how the creatures tab is laid out. It's very hard to sort it. Like, it does list bosses in here, but it's just really hard to find stuff. There's no official entry for um, phase on this game, but there is in the next game. Hmm. It's strange. Also, that music is fucking creepy. I love it. Especially when it has the bell sort in. So. You thought the main pirate base is back at Fedron Drifts. Nope. That's not where they were harvesting the Phazon. This is the main space pirate facility. This is the Phazon Mines. And this is the surface level. So the Phazon Mines is really fucking deep. Like, holy shit, is it deep? Uh, man, so... I will openly advocate that the music in this level is actually really cool because it's layered and it's very, um, inner, it it's like it changes. Like, look how deep we're going. Look at this. We're, we're up here. We're going down there. <laughs> we're penetrating it. Penetrating. Yeah. Uh, we're going deep, balls deep into the phase on mines. It is going to be creepy and cool. And look, we have brand new turrets, advanced turrets or mega turrets in this case. <laughs> Frustrated with inner inferior armor playing on standard defense turrets, the space pirates added energy shielding to modified heavy cannon. <laughs> oh my god, we're basically putting like it's almost the equivalent of like the land stalker turrets from Ratchet Deadlock. It's crazy. Yeah, it's um, it's gonna require a little more. Actually, I'm curious how many missiles the bolt take to kill. One, two, <laughs> three. Come on. I assume it'll be like five. 
but just three. Oh no, we got a around 150% defense. Oh no. Anyway, so no sarcasm. Let's actually get the shit going. Hey, I'm not sure why this is hidden, but okay. Mm hmm. I am missing a, a energy tank though because of an example earlier. So I would be the responsible adult human being and a safe. Reasonable adult male. Huh. So this game's okay. So personal philosophy of mine, I don't like actually considering myself like I like. This is gonna sound weird. It's gonna sound very strange. But I don't. Mm, this is this is extremely off topic. I'm not entirely comfortable bringing it up, but it's part of my personal philosophy. And I feel like I should mention it at some point. I don't feel comfortable. Oh, pff, there's the disable right there. I don't really feel comfortable calling myself a man. Like, I feel like I have to reach a certain point in life before I say I am a man, or I feel manly, and I am a gentleman of high caliber. I feel like I'm not at that point yet. Like, I'll say I'm a dude, or I'm a guy, but I don't like saying I, I am, a, am a man. Like, not in the sense of being an adult, but in the sense of saying I have reached that point of, that echelon of being, like, I am, I am a fully accomplished human being and can say I have re reached manhood. I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable with saying that. I, that might, might not, that might not make any fucking sense to some people I know. But I don't know, it's just the way I feel. I, I felt unreasonable when people say, dude, you're the man, or saying like I'm an adult man or something, I don't know. That's just always been like, oh by the way, <laughs> yeah, check that. Busted. Yeah, that, that's just always been like a weird thing of mine. I feel like if I were to be called man, I had to like move out and get like a job that pays more than twelve dollars an hour. I don't know. That's just always been my thing. Anyway, so crane scan uh, active. Um, I don't think I need to mention this, but you're getting a lot of shit in the phase on mines. But require power power conduit. <laughs> Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna play find a power conduit. It's right here. I don't know why it really makes me do that. It's that's like the easiest of the puzzles. Nuts. Pulsating green? Huh. Prime two, we just ha have like a little hand thing right here. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Well, we're used to getting a lot of shit in here. I don't know if anyone's interested in reading that. Here we go. For the record, nope. Nope, you cannot use the gravel beam point in there yet. Actually, you get the... We're about to get the gravel beam in like maybe 10 minutes. It's actually not going to be that far from here. So anyway, quick missile expansion that you... You can skip. Um, there's a way to take down the energy field right there, but I forget offhand. Of course. Actually... <laughs> maybe I can't disengage it right now. Okay, sure. I have plenty of overhead clearing, but apparently not. Sure. Anyway, how many is that? That has to be a hundred. That has to have gotten me to a hundred. There's no way it's not. If not ninety-five, I want a hundred. Damn it, hundred even, but really not. I think there's like, I know there's over two hundred missiles in this game, or like maybe one fifty, one seventy. Anyway, deactivate cl deactivation controls. S Hello. Oh, that's the door. I can't. Oh, that was the save point. So. Uh, there's a way to disable the force fields. I don't remember offhand. But, oh wait, is this it? Hey, there we go. <laughs> Good luck trying to get in there while dodging. Well, then again, if you if you take the main path like a normal human being, unlike me, you can disable that, disable that, and be good. Not me. I'm a fucking insane sometimes. 